This aloe section is in just incredible bloom this time of year. Unfortunately, we just had some extremely cold weather once in every probably 70 years, according to some people. And the blooms aren't as spectacular as they might be, but as you can see, they're not too bad, especially some of these aloes back here. Look at that. So, this aloe section isn't a total loss, but it's not as spectacular again as it could be. These are supposedly evergreen pears. Again, the cold weather has knocked most of the leaves off of them. There are a few left. But as you can see, they're coming into bloom like crazy. Look at that. Let me get a shot of you for you of these blooms. Look at that. Just gorgeous. And it's definitely coming into bloom right now. Another faraway shot of another of these Pyrus kawakami, or the Japanese evergreen flowering pear. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Let's get a close-up of some of these. Let's see if we can get it to focus. And I'll put it on manual so we can actually focus in manual. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now they're just coming into bloom, so within a week or two, they should be just fantastic. This, this is a flowering apricot called Prunus mume, and this particular variety is called Peggy Clark. Notice the blooms on this. Incredible doubled blooms. Look at that. Just it, really something. Look at that. That is incredible. And that's coming into full bloom. And it's here in the deciduous blooming trees section, which is just north of the tropical lagoon. Again, beautiful forsythia in bloom right now. These are pretty fast bloomers. They have a pretty short blooming period. So who knows what they'll look like when you get here. Hopefully they'll look great. They'll probably look great for another at least week. But look at that. And these are right on the side of the road, as you can hear, near the waterfall. Let's take a look at that waterfall. Look at that. And you take a look at these. Look at this. These are Magnolia Solangiana, a variety called Alexandrina. We have, I think, upwards to 40 to 50 different varieties of magnolias here, and they're just starting to come into bloom. Look at all the buds on there. And within one to two weeks, this place should be just looking awesome, spectacular, with magnolia blooms peppering or covering these trees. Magnolias are great here, and even in Southern California, where it's fairly warm, they will bloom without leaves on them. So you have this beautiful illusion that these flowers sometimes are floating just floating in space. So you have to come by and see some of these. This variety here is called Merrill, and it's a whitish, slightly pink variety. And this is Rustica rubra here. Look at these. Much kind of squatter, smaller blooms than you see on some of the other varieties. And they're just, as you can see, with all those buds there, just coming into bloom. So. You've got to come by in the next couple of weeks and see these things when they're just in full bloom. They're spectacular. These are located just near the bathroom, uh, right off of the main entrance. Take a look at these. Beautiful magnolia-like flowers. This is Michelia dolcopa, which is in the magnolia family. This is also known as Jempaca. And the smell on these is just incredible. Very very sweet, uh, perfumey smell, uh, incredible smell. Worth coming here just to take a whiff of what these are like. It's Michelia Dolcopa, and it's native to the Himalayas. Take a look at uh, where this is located. This is the restroom. This is the path that goes up from the main entrance to the cafe there, which you can barely see through the trees. And there is the Michelia in full bloom.